What's going on guys? Today we got Stadium Series cards, which are actually pretty interesting. There is someone who is making, uh, finally, a return to a high-end card in Miko Rantanen, but let's jump into the six cards that we will be watching for the Stadium Series game between the Avalanche and the LA Kings. Alright, so again, we did get the new Stadium Series cards. We got the 90 Landis Cog, Rantanen, and Eric Johnson. We also got the 90 Jonathan Quick, I have Follow, and Dustin Brown. How these are going to work if you haven't ever seen one of these events before is whatever team wins will get a plus three overall boost. So you are kind of investing in who you think will win. Obviously, the Avalanche are going to be heavily favored. So let's take a look at the cards individually to see if maybe even if, um, you know, the, the Kings cards are going for super cheap, if they might be worth it. So uh, let's go take a peek at those cards. So first one's up is Jonathan Quick. I can't stand him in real life, uh, but six foot one, two eighteen, has eighty two aggression. Um, not really a huge fan. I mean, I think that there will be better goaltenders regardless. He's just not very tall. Uh, one to one TWC and SP is good synergies though. Uh, but the aggression is again. I don't like anything over eighty. I don't think it'll matter too much at eighty two. But I would probably leave this one alone regardless of price. Even if he goes to a 93, uh, I still think that he's too short to kind of make up anything over the other goaltenders that are available in that range. On to Alex Iafalo, 6'185", 1 to XTK and heavy hitter. He's got 97 speed, acceleration, 99 agility, 90, 96 balance, 95 endurance. So very, very good skating. And then shooting, he's got 86 accuracy, 90 power. The hand stats are above 87. Body checking, 88 as well. Faceoffs are 92. So this is a pretty good card regardless if he wins. If he's cheap, let's go take a look at the market early on because this might be a card to actually grab regardless. And if he is, there's none on the market market right now but if he is going to be pretty cheap um you know this might not be a bad card because even if they lose you're still getting a face a center um for 92 so that that isn't a bad buy if he does get the plus three his skating is all 99 his shot is above 90 um his hand stats all above 90 as well and then his face off would be 95 this would be a really good card if that were to happen and then finally, the Dustin Brown, six foot two sixteen, uh, pretty slow, ninety three speed, acceleration, and agility. Uh, shot is basically the same as I follow at eighty seven accuracy, ninety power. Hand stats a little bit worse. However, his body checking at 93 makes him a little bit more potent on the defensive side of things. He's not going to be a center. Uh, I think there's a lot of a lot better right wingers out there, even if he does get to a ninety three. Um, so I, I would pass on Dustin Brown. On to Colorado, and this is where, you know, everyone's focus is going to be. First of all, Eric Johnson, right defenseman, six foot four, two twenty five. This card is already fantastic. Right defense is so weak. He's big. He's got good speed. His shot isn't terrible at 90 power, only 80 accuracy, but regardless. His hand stats is passing at 88, puck control at 86, body checking at 90, and then his defensive awareness at 89, stick checking 91. This is a great right defenseman card to begin with. If he gets a 93, you're talking about probably the best right defenseman card in the game right now. So uh, if you are going to invest in any of them, I would do Eric Johnson just because regardless if he wins or not, this is a usable right defenseman card for you know the foreseeable future. And then we get the 90 Miko Ranton. We haven't had a Miko Ranton in card uh, since basically launch weekend with the classic one. Uh, 94 skating, 90 shot, hand stats above 91. This is also a very, very good left-handed card. He is big at 6'4", 11. So again, this isn't a bad card. If he were to win, he gets his speed up to 97, shot about 93, hand stats 94. Uh, you're in real good shape with this card if he were to win. So again, if you're looking for a forward, Miko Rantanen is probably the move. And then finally, we've got the 90 Gabriel Landeskog, 6'1", 215, 94 skating. So again... It, I don't, I don't mean that it's terribly slow, but against cars that are 99, you will notice a difference, um, especially because his weight's 215, so it's going to take him a second to get going. Um, shot stats under 80, under 90, hand stats under 90 as well. This one would be an avoid because I think because he is a Colorado Avalanche and they're obviously the heavy, heavy favorite here, um, I would pass because even if he gets a 93, he's, you know, obviously still an okay card, but I think the price you're going to have to pay to for the risk involved, like let's say somehow LA wins, um, you just wasted a ton of coins and you could have invested it somewhere else. So this would be the one I would avoid on the Avalanche, but the other two are fantastic. So guys, that is going to do it for me for today today's video for the stadium series cards let me know what you think in the comment section down below and please guys subscribe to the channel daily hut content i'll see you guys next time